Hey everybody, Silent Doom here, and welcome to episode 4 of my UK Warriors series. This episode featuring Smashbound, uh, the best Ness in the UK. Uh, kind of like Plastic Pop Tart, he's basically a sort of a rising star in the scene, relatively new player that's been getting consistent, solid results in tournaments. Uh, he's very adaptive, he's got a good mindset, he's always willing to learn and always trying to improve and get better at various matchups. Uh, as of late, in particular, he has been taking sets off of some of our top Rosalina players, whom I will definitely feature at least one or two of them in the future. But for now, let us jump straight in. So we're starting off on FD, Ness versus Shulk. Obviously starting off in speed, as you usually do. You Typically, uh, Shulk's going to want to start off in speed or buster, and he's already, you know, trying to retain his stage control. One thing I personally find difficult about this matchup as Shulk is that Ness, uh, Ness most of the time wins the close-up and mid-range game. You pretty much have to read what Ness is going to do in order to uh, to combat him effectively. Uh, right there, I was just trying to swat away the PK, PK Thunder off stage so that uh, it wouldn't hit me, obviously. And right there, forward air is really, really good at shutting down basically every approach option that Shulk has. Every way Shulk has to get in. And it's just a fantastic move for Ness in general. Great at controlling the stage right there. I was a bit ambitious with that up smash. Uh, if I got it, he would have died, but I almost died doing it. So right now we got a pretty even game. That was an ambitious down smash. I'm not quite sure what I was going for there. Or well, catches me jumping out of shield and catches me with a back air. And I clip him with the F tilt, managing to seal the first stock. Now Ness is definitely a character who has particularly on his aerials, he has really fantastic hitboxes that link forever and that's the grab back throw, obviously. One of the best kill throws in the game. But yes, as I was saying, Ness has a lot of really solid hitboxes and as a result, Shulk has a hard time dealing with them. Uh, Ness will often eat Shulk in air-to-air -air exchanges, which is really hard for Shulk because he kind of needs to be in the air in order to, you know, get anything started. me with that PK fire. He's very good at, uh, ooh, and the PK thunder right there, killing me at about 50% because of uh, bad DI, and from here I, I was very much flustered. He, there was a huge shift in momentum there, and so I'm, I'm generally playing kind of bad at this point. And so I'm just, I'm still stuck in Smash, just trying to get some momentum going. When you get blasted, uh, uh, by a PK Thunder like that at around 50-60%, you know, from center stage no less. It can be hard to bounce back from huge deficits like that. Caught him jumping out of shield uh, with the F smash. And again, that's that massive, massive fair just, uh, just doing an excellent job just catching me. And here I, I went for that panic forward air. Uh, Unfortunately, ended with me losing my stock. I, I feared an aerial, and so I, I went for a, a fair to challenge, but of course, it was the wrong decision in that instance. And Smashbound takes game one with a convincing two stock. So, for game two, I decided to take him to Dreamland as Charizard. Charizard, obviously, being a new character in the series, and well, let's see how he does. Well, uh,. And, uh, there we go. I, th I felt pretty, pretty damn good. I felt pretty, pretty good after that. The respectful, the respectful taunt. And yeah, I really felt I needed a switch after that. My, my Shulk just couldn't get it done. Charizard has a much easier time, in my opinion, versus Ness. Controlling space, particularly with Flamethrower, is a fantastic tool against Ness. Uh, making him respect your mid-range options a lot more. But right now, I'm having a lot of trouble just getting back on stage and trying to establish some stage control. That was a very unsafe PK fire in that instance. And again, like, catching his approaches with that flamethrower, really good up air there. 
interesting trade. And again, just trying to wall him out, make me make him respect my space with the flamethrower, attacking on little bits of damage here and there, spacing him out with moves like down tilt, uh, forward tilt. Ooh, and he clipped me with that back air. Really strong kill move, particularly when sweet spotted. Ness's aerials in general, uh, as I mentioned before, they're very, very strong. Catching me trying to space. The triple forward air, Ness special. Thankfully, uh, due to Charizard's, uh, you know, him having two mid air jumps as well as flare blitz, he will almost never get caught by the PK Thunder afterwards, and that, that is the wonders of Dreamland working for Charizard. Up throw onto the top platform with Dreamland's lower ceiling equals death at 110. So Charizard as a whole, since he's a since he's a new character this series, uh, as a whole, what you want to be doing with him, he's a pretty defensive character. You want to be spacing out uh, short hop nares, short hop fares, as well as abusing his jab, flamethrower, f tilt, and down tilt. There is those are pretty much his main options in neutral. And then from there, with regards to your punishes, you want to be fishing for those. You want to be looking for those grabs because he has a very very solid grab game coupled with a fantastic grab. He's able to shield grab a lot of uh, a lot of approaches from characters. Right there, I stuffed out his uh, his jump with flare blitz. I go for the down air. They're very poorly timed on my part, and I I uh, suffer for it. I very much deserve that. And again, that's that uh, nest forward air. Even in this matchup, just uh, just preventing my zoning option. Flare Blitz has been doing quite a bit of work this match. Basically, Flare Blitz, I think, is sort of underrated. It does have its fair share of drawbacks, but it is helpful in the fact that one, of course, is a great recovery move, and two, it's really good at uh, calling out opponents' uh, mid-range neutral game. If they're doing, if they're whiffing like normals at mid-range aerials, or just committing to movement options that they shouldn't be, Flare Blitz is excellent for punishing those if you get a solid read with it. And right there, called his option, went for the pivot grab, up throw, and that will steal game two. The is... three. Game three, we had Smashville. One, is he the quintessential neutral stage? Uh, I banned FD. I don't think FD is all that great for Charizard. Not having those additional platforms means that you don't get those earlier kills with his uh, with his up throw. My apologies. Ooh, barely managing to avoid that PK Thunder with a rollback. PK Thunder is a very very scary move, as you saw in uh, game one. It can kill exceptionally early. Uh, sweet spot PK Thunder can actually kill earlier than rest. He actually manages to get that meteor. That's a uh, Ness's down air is kind of strange because he has four fantastic aerials and then he has one really bad one in the form of down air. It's very hard to get that meteor. Now right there, that was a very interesting thing that I realized in the matchup. I can actually challenge through PK Thunder with Flare Blitz. Ooh, now I got the tech there. I buffered an air dodge and then ended up buffering a, a, a Flare Blitz. By mistake, so that was a that was a bit of a funny sequence. This time I'm getting that down air. That's one of the great things about this matchup for Charizard. He is able to edge guard Ness very easily, simply by you know holding B and then uh, getting that down air. Again, that's that that's a uh, Charizard jab, really fantastic move from frame four, so it's pretty quick and it has great range good damage, it's just an overall fantastic move from him in general. Unsafe dash attack, managing to punish. Unfortunately don't get the follow up with the up air. Um, that used to not be possible, but they trimmed the end lag of down throw a tiny bit such that if they don't DI that quite correctly, um, you can get them with a the down throw up air, and it can kill at like 70, 80. It's very, very solid. And again, uh, I picked onto the habit that uh, Mert quite often likes to, uh, smash bound even, he quite often likes to uh, throw out aerials after getting hit, as you know, not too uncommon for an S since his aerials are fantastic. 
But he quite likes to do that, and as a result, I uh, called him out for it and went for the Flare Blitz. Ooh. I actually baited that air dodge, went for the Flamethrower, but it was a little bit too slow. And then I was trying to just intricately space around that dash attack so that, you know, the quick walk back. Charizard's uh, walk speed was actually improved quite a bit in this game. From uh, In Brawl, he had one of the slowest walks in the game. In this game, it is a lot faster. It's like above average. And I juggling me with that PK Thunder. Very even game at the moment. I have a lot of rage. So does he. And it could definitely this stock could definitely go either way. He grabs me right out of my rock smash, back throw, and that'll seal the stock. Now this this stock will be a little bit harder to seal because obviously uh, no rage. That up throw definitely would have killed before, but unfortunately it just came short. It's a good DI. Sweet spot there. Now one, uh, again, catching him with that pivot grab, and that'll definitely seal the stock. One thing that Charizard has a lot of trouble with is he can find it difficult to land on stages that don't have platforms. This is part of the reason why FD isn't a good stage for him. Uh, he has fewer ways to land because he has high landing lag on his aerials. If you don't auto-cancel them, you're suffering a lot of lag. Standard bread and butters, down throw to fair. He also has a uh, back throw to fair as well. That doesn't work. And unfortunately, I just missed that fair, got stuck in the landing lag, and he got me with the back throw, killing me at 90 because I was on the Smash Roll platform. So now we're at 2 1 to Smash Bound. Game 4, we go to Town and City. I decided to stop for this stage one, because he'd banned Dreamland, and two, because I wanted a, a stage with a bit more breathing room. Right now he's off to a very solid start, getting 35% off from me. And that's that uh, back throw to forward air working, as I mentioned before. Again, he's a little bit too high. I wanted the B reverse flamethrower there actually, but just about missed it unfortunately. And that was the that was the walk back to try and improve my overall spacing. Tried to catch him with the dash attack. Dash attack's a pretty solid move for Zard as well. Kind of slow, but it's pretty solid anyway. And that's that armor on Rock Smash working wonders. Ooh, and that is that sweet spot F tilt. Previously, that probably wouldn't have killed, but thanks to the patch where uh, it got buffed up in damage, you know, very solid kill move by the ledge. Sub 100. On Town and City with its relatively tight boundaries too. Flare Blitz is good for recovery versus Ness because he's either committing to PK Thunder or he's simply not fast enough to chase you. So Flare Blitz can definitely be a good tool to get you back on stage as Charizard. Ooh, I'm right there. I went for the down air. Very ballsy down air and I managed to get the stock trade very much in my favor. So now I am at a full stock lead and... I pretty much snatched any momentum he would have had. And now I can play a very, you know, chill game to space him out with flamethrowers. Play the defensive game that I want to be playing. But I also have room to take a couple more risks since I am at a, a full stock lead. And that's those uh, zoning tools working wonders. Fading back with uh, Nair to bait and approach and then going for that down tilt. Are having really good range on his normals, of course. Ooh. And perfectly spaced back air. Get the sweet spot. Kill him at 100. Charizard's tail, man. That is a powerful, powerful move. Very laggy if you land, but very strong. Especially, and it's incredibly hard to challenge, too. So now we are at 2 2. Game 5, and Smash Brown decides to take me to Battlefield, which I thought was a somewhat strange decision, actually, considering how the game on Dreamland went. But he's already off to a pretty strong start. Spacing out his aerials. Ness's aerials are very safe, and he has a fantastic out-of-shield game. 
provided of course you space them decently. But moves like back air are generally hard to punish. Caught him with that falling up air. And again, flamethrower being a fantastic move for just stuffing approaches. Ooh, catches catches the tip of my head with that PK fire. Now we're just back to the full stage neutral game. I wanted that down air to back air. That would have if I got the sweet spot back here, I would have sealed his stock, but otherwise, it would have sent him a good distance off stage for me to get the edge guard. Great falling back here there. Ooh, I wanted the bait on that air dodge, because I know he likes to come down with air dodging a lot. And unfortunately, miss with that PK Thunder. That definitely would have sealed my stock, but it put him right below me to get his skull crushed. By the boot, by the boot of Charizard. I'm not quite sure why I opted for forward throw there. I was probably at a percent where I thought Rage would start uh, screwing up my combo, so I simply thought, you know, let's go for the stage control. Attacking more of that damage on with that flame power. It's so good at just stopping, like stopping a character like Ness's momentum. It's really good in pretty much every matchup for Charizard. Provided you don't misspace it or opt for it in the wrong situation. And again, I tried to go for that down air again. I was just a bit too late on it and I end up losing my stock because of it. Since I still had invincibility there, I was more than willing to trade the PK Thunder activation. PK Fire activation even. I I believe I wanted an F tilt there. I accidentally started committing to an F smash so I thought I might as well charge it. Even though that was still a poor decision. And that forward air, as well as PK Fire, he's really good at catching people out with the PK Fire. Now what you notice there, I managed to clank with the PK Fire. Uh, that's because Charizard's wings, he doesn't have hitboxes entirely on the wings. And so, it's somewhat disjointed to attack with his uh, third jab. Caught his F smash with that falling back air, and that is definitely going to seal his stock. Back air, even if you don't sweet spot it, is still a very strong move. It's stronger closer to the tip of the tail, but it has like three different hitboxes. Oof. Break the eye away to avoid the fair follow up. I read the roll there, managed to get the back throw to fair. And now at the moment, I definitely have all the momentum. Again, I tried to go for that down throw up air, it didn't quite work. Ooh, that up air, so strong. Sure, up air almost killing Charizard at like 130 on stage. Ooh! Fantastic bait on that spot dodge to get that up there. Again, so powerful. Ooh, catch me with the PK fire, but I don't get locked in it, thankfully. Again, that's the third time I've tried that, and it simply hasn't worked on this. Probably because the character is simply too floaty. Ooh, excellent triple fair over there to try and uh, get stage control, but again, Charizard, especially on a stage of platforms, just flare blitz back on stage. No troubles, no worries. So at this point, even though I have a lead, you've got to be careful against Ness because, you know, one one false move, he clips you with that PK Thunder, he gets you with something like an F Smash, and that is your stock gone. It's a pretty close game at the moment. Even now, I was tentative to go for the down air. At the, mo at the moment, I'm just trying to do safe pokes, go for my safe spacing tools, rack up damage where I can. Ambitious F Smash, I thought he was going to fall a bit slower than that. Jab again being a fantastic tool for getting opponents off of you, as well as just, uh, you know, as an out of shield punish. Now at this point I was just trying to feel him out, and there we go, that is the grab that is going to seal the game and the set. Great set from Smashbound, if you would like to follow him on Twitch, he's started the stream fairly recently doing viewer battles. If you want to follow him on Twitch, uh, follow him at OK underscore Mert, with the O, uh, with the zero. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next episode. Peace.